quarter rolling heavy. Booker Corgan and Peter Sampson bringing you game of the week shot goal. And who else but Nick Ellis? I gotta say, Booker, I was about to say at the end of the third quarter that their extra man play was getting some good shots, and they did there. Nine to five, now your score 15 seconds in. Man up brought to you by Competitive Edge Outfitters. By 17, Nick Ellis. Fourth quarter of today's game brought to you by the Great American Pub. They have a location in Wayne and a location in Conchahokan. The Great American Pub, where lacrosse players go to enjoy good food and good times. That's okay. Thank you. And Barnes. And now we get the late flag. Oh boy, it was a, that one was mailed in. <laughs> clearly a foul, and referee Carmen D. John Domenico is not going to stand for that. But it seemed like a communication gap between D. John Domenico, Parker, and McGee, your officials for today's game. And Barnes, I think. And then he kicked him in the deep. Ball onto the turf, and it's going to be a man up now for the Radnor Raiders. I think they're even for some time here, Coach. Looks like they only got five on. Five on five. And yeah, Ben Jr. A, a so that penalty at the end of the quarter was non releasable. That's why uh, Radnor is still uh, a man down. Radnor still killing off their part of the penalty. Shot by Cherry, save on the inside by Simon. A.J. Simon making a big save and now looking to clear it quickly up the near side. Gets it to Patrick Kane. Patrick Kane fresh off his 2010 Stanley Cup win with the <laughs> Chicago Blackhawks. Thought he'd try some lax. Sam Boone's song with the clear for the Raiders and now the Raiders Cherry turns and gets it over to Donato. Donato topside. Alex Mandrak balances up the offense and we are six on six. Fourth quarter brought to you by the Great American Pub where all lacrosse players go to meet and have a good time. Great food, great wait staff, and a great environment for a huge party. Ben Jr., a little slip dilly it's just one hand shot, goal! Ben Jr., oh. highlight reel, hashtag SC Top 10. My goodness, one handed with the right hand. So funked up. Even Big George like that one. Bro. Even Big George is super funked up like he's from the Oak Town. Wait till Otis sees us. He loves us. I think he was shooting to draw the foul there, Booker. I don't, I don't know uh, if he intended that to go in the net, but it did. Ben Jr. with a highlight real goal. That's why those one-hand pass drills come in to help you there. Love a good one-hand pass drill. Back at the faceoff logo, Barnsey took a little shot earlier, but back to being the Egg McMuffin of faceoff guys. Pound for pound, he's as good as they come. Gets it over to Donato. And 10 to five, your score, 9.48 to go fourth quarter. Fourth quarter brought to you by the Great American Pub. Donato. Gets it over to Junior, and now Chris Albany subs in for the Raiders. A great occasion, this Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival. Joined here in the booth by Peter Sampson. Peter, how much money have they raised over the course of their 12 years? Well, as of last year, we had raised significantly more than a million. We had given a million dollars away to the different causes that we support. Uh, and now we're at, you know, so we're well over a million in money raised. Uh, of course
course, there are expenses, but the expenses are very, you know, we, we virtually everyone associated, everyone associated with this event is a volunteer. So we, uh, our biggest expense is probably the officials. Right. And they making their presence felt here in the second half. Radner back on the man up. Nine oh six to go, fourth quarter. Radner on the man up, foul on Mario Della Cutie. One minute, illegal body check to the head, non-releasable. The one minute foul, and Donato pumps it down the side to Mandarak. Tommy Hebsher gets it back from Mandarak and pushes it up the near side. Ben Jr., top left side, look for him to be a cutter when this play goes into motion. 2-3-1 right now for the Radner man up. There's a three on two down there, not taking advantage of. Mandarak slips it over to Donato, shot by Cherry Rings Iron. Ball out towards the midfield and a timeout called by Coach Beezer. Great play by him. The Great American Pub, thrilled to have your business and thrilled to have them supporting the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival here at Radnor High School. Radnor set to go after the timeout by Coach John Beezer. Booker Corrigan joined by Peter Sampson. Great event here, the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival. Radner leads 10 to 5, 828 to go fourth quarter. Got to give a quick thank you to United Rentals for helping us get this vantage point over here on this side. Shot just wide. Alex Mandarak on that. Coach Sampson, let's talk about that youth program because. Radner's a smaller than average public school, but they can compete at such a high level because of the great coaching that they get in that youth program. Well, I appreciate that. We got a great bunch of coaches that uh, give their time. And, you know, I've got a, a first and second grade program where I got all American, former all Americans competing for coaching their kids. I got Mike Murphy, the Penn coach, helping us coach. I got John Beezer coaching at that level. I got Dennis and, uh, and Timmy Goldstein, two former All-American attackmen. It's, it's, it's hard to not do a good job with kids when you have people like that helping you. So we've got good, and we've got great parents in this township, you know. How many times have you heard a coach say that they can count on one hand the number of problems they've had with coach, with parents over 20 years? And I can. We got great supportive parents. The vital piece of success is the parent support as well as the athletic department support. You know they're getting great athletic department support when Mike Friel, the athletic director, is on the sidelines as an assistant coach. Shot goal by Shirley. Shirley, you can't be serious. Big goal on the far side as he beats the goaltender, Brendan Mandarak, off hip a shot. 10 to six now the score. Fourth quarter brought to you by the Great American Pub. Now, Coach Sampson, do you ever get like Timmy and Dennis Goldstein and the Beezer group and those coaches all together at the Great American Pub for coaches meetings? Absolutely. That's our meeting place. That's where the coaches meet. Got to love the Great American Pub in Wayne. Nice, quaint little venue. Get together and tell some stories. And then, of course, you have the Great American Pub in Conshohock and they can accommodate groups up to 150 to 200. Shame to win that face off and then uh, lose the ball and fail as well. Blaine Fleming comes up with it for Prep. Prep trying to mount a little bit of a comeback. Plenty of lacrosse left to be played. Fourth quarter, seven minute mark. 10 to six the score. And a large chunk of that 10 to six differential because of Radner's time of possession in the third quarter. That's right, that was a quarter to, to uh, can't have a better quarter than that. Sam Bonsong hey, comes up with it. Brendan. And now a flag Brendan. flies late in the action. Ben Jr. possesses for Radner. So we got a delayed penalty here, Booker. I'm not sure what it was. I think a slash when Simon Song crossed the midfield line. 
referee Carmen D. John Domenico right in position to make that call. Coach Beezer giving some instructions as the flag is down. And now we get an interference against the pick. And Prep will be on the man down. And it's, we talk, we've talked about the volunteers doing such an amazing job. I'm watching the one of the Radnor lacrosse parents just walking around, picking up trash, helping out however they can. That's what makes it a great event. Yeah, let me give a shout out to the other teams. They actually supply volunteers. So that could actually be a prep parent or a parent of a team that played earlier. They're all assigned two hour stints and they'll clean up a field and, and um, by, by 15 minutes after this game, you won't even know there was a festival here. It'll be absolutely clean the campus. And the volunteers will all be in bed, lying on top of their beds or couches. Yeah. I know I will. I'll be at the bellied up to the bar at the Great American Pub and then home to my couch. Looking off the dollar bill, yeah, for sure. Let's see if I can find the dollar llama. Cherry bounce pass underneath to Hampshire as Radner looking to tack one more on. I think they're being very judicious about getting rid of the ball. This man up. Oh, what a goal. shot! Goal. Shapiro finishes it. Hard bouncer. Bit of a Paris Hilton right there, Coach Sampson. I guess so. <laughs> Great play, man up. Number 31, Fonz. Assisted by number And I'll tell you. Cuda.com got some great support by the Katie Sampson Festival to come up here, as well as the Friends of Radnor Lacrosse. They brought the first quarter to you. Uh, then AC Capital and Financial Planning. Lacrosse Republic doing a great job supporting us, as well as United Rentals. If you have any rental needs, please do reach out to United Rentals. And then, of course, the Great American Pub, where lacrosse players go to have a good time, a good meal with good friends. Bodies flying as the intensity picks up on the defensive end of the field. And referee Maceo Parker in on it. Flag flies late. Maceo Parker's not gonna put up with any of that. And now we have more pushing. Flags fly, hats fly, it's Bastille Day. Happy July 14th to everybody. Flags all over the place. I've seen fewer flags at the Garrett Hill 4th of July parade. It actually did look going down the avenue of the arts where they have the flags, yeah. all the countries. He's, Everywhere. One guy lost, got rid of flags and he's throwing, they were throwing hats. But he put his hat back on very quickly, I noticed. <laughs> I remember a long, long time ago, Ross Lonsbury for the Philadelphia Flyers got in a fight and the guy knocked his helmet off. And all of a sudden, everybody in the world realized that Ross Lonsbury was bald. And Ross immediately stopped fighting the guy and ran over and got his helmet and put it back on. <laughs> True story. Go way back there, Booker. Yeah. I can go back further, Booker. I can remember watching the old New York Giants with a guy named Y.A. Tittle as a quarterback. <laughs> and you took he took his helmet off, and he didn't have one blade of hair. The shiny, a shiny old dome. 459 to go fourth quarter. Rolling heavy. Booker Corgan and Peter Sampson like dancing at Highsmith. Wednesday night's taco night at Rogers Island, boys. Special Forces zip line. These guys are serious. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Aim for the bushes. Penalties all sorted out. Radner has four defenders in. Prep has five offensive guys in. We're now going to get the explanation. Booker Corgan joined by Matt Marshall. Now, Matt, friends of Radner Lacrosse, tremendous organization here to support the efforts of all these great lacrosse players. That's right, Booker. And it's it's a community effort, as, as you know, uh, being a longtime Radner guy, it's all about the community people stepping up and really supporting the kids uh, playing and, and, and really uh, watching their development. So uh, needless to say, we're very proud today. Great day for the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival as well as 
obviously Radner lacrosse. This team's really come through today, Booker. They, they're they really playing, uh, I think, at a, at a higher level than we've seen them most of the season. And uh, Coach Beezer and Coach Corrigan, Coach Buzza, Coach Sims, and A.D. Friel must be very proud of the boys today. So far, we don't want to jinx it. You no, got to no. believe in the broadcaster's jinx because it exists. Uh, 4.13 to go now, fourth quarter, 11-6 the score. But this prep team has shown the ability to score in bunches. Ellis, number 17 for prep, has several goals today, at least three. He's part of the 3G network. Ball pinballs around. That's going to be interference. Mandarak scoops it out of the back of the net and Radner possesses lazy clearing pass but corralled Kevin Riley and yet another great play by Tommy Hebscher thrilled with his level of play this afternoon Tommy Hebscher doing such a nice job coming out of the timeout Radner still man down and now they wait for the whistle to restart. Paul Samboonsong tries to sneak over the backside as Donato sneaks over as well. And now we get a moving pick called. Not sure I saw it, but not my position to question, right? Radner, number three, Mike Cherry. Senior Ben Jr. for Radner, which sounds odd to say. Senior Ben Jr. Headed to Lehigh, one of the Under Armour All-American underclassmen players of the game, along with Tommy Hempshire. Ooh. Shot goal, Shirley rips it. Scott Shirley unleashes the beast. Never seen anything like that. Not sure if that was Mario Delacuti who got that ball to Shirley. Back to the face-off logo. Strolls out the Egg McMuffin of face-off, guys. Junior and Barnes going at it at the face-off logo. And Barnes continues. Just a great game by Mike Barnes today, Booker. Barnes has done an amazing job. Here's Tom Hempshire still playing with that reckless abandon. 255 the score. And the penalty has expired. Donato gets it up top. Shane Shapiro. Shapiro carries right handed, defended by Hurley. Shapiro with the ball. Shapiro flips it over to Cherry. And Radner clearly in killing the clock mode right now. All the way up top, Ben Jr. Shot goal. Great right-handed shot, Ben Jr. And that should prove to be the icing on the cake. 12-7 now the score. Booker Corgan and Matt Marshall bringing it to you. Matt, you definitely fired up about getting to the Great American Pub for a burger and a Go glass of ice water. Rangers Can't wait, senior. Booker. Can't wait. But uh, very impressed ben with this Jay Jr. Junior today. Uh, Jay, excuse me. Uh, Ben's father, Jay, uh, player for Swarthmore, big contributor to the girls' program here in Radnor. Great day for Ben Jr. And it's going to be a great even for great evening for Robert Kelly and Michael Bones Kelly. Them Bones, Booker. Them Bones. A couple guys who I know have been to the Great American Pub once or twice. And I think Robert Kelly has a big birthday coming up. We might have to have that party at the Great American Pub in Conshohocken. We had a good one there for uh, Dollar Bill Brazier, Booker. Gotta love Dollar Bill. Yeah. 
The place was a zoo. I was there. Inside shot goal, Ellis. All he does is score goals. <laughs> he is the Chris Carter of the prep lacrosse team. All he does is score goals. 12-8 now the score, 141 to go, oh, fourth quarter. Got to thank Competitive Edge Outfitters. If you have any desire to get your hands on the Johnny O Golf shirt in great pastel colors, Johnny O Golf shirts moving like hotcakes out of Competitive Edge. They also have the tremendous Liquid Flow golf shorts and prep now just going to the cage. Another shot, Mandrak wrestles that one off. <laughs> Nick Ellis sets it in motion. Sam Song on him. They get her all the way up top. And Swanick has it for prep, gets it quickly to Brown. Brown splits right to left. Roll dodge on the far side by Fleming. Shot by Fleming. Mandrak with the backup can't get it. Swanick ruled to be a step closer. But no lack of hustle by Mandrak. Shot corralled. Couple bodies in the way. Radner's Judd Solomon dives at that one. Flag flies. And with one minute even on the clock, Fleming will sit for a minute. Man up. Got to make sure everybody gets their Moda Pure Hydration Formula. And if you're ever in the Baltimore area, stop at Royal Farms. Royal Farms, real fresh, real fast. Radner looking. A huge rap check by Tyler Cliggett. He started that rap check out by Lancaster Avenue and finished it up by the train tracks, the Radner train station about a half mile up the hill here. Proving my knowledge, Ethan Avenue. He took Ethan south on Sproul, then came back up. Booker, you are you are a local, you are a local uh, resource, and and we're all proud of your success with Cuda.com. Cuda over a million views, killing it. Congratulations, proud son Thank of you. Radnor Township from yeah. Wood Lane. Wooded, uh, I was all Wooded Lane in street hockey. One of my few athletic honors. And that was after Robert Kelly retired from street hockey. I made all wooded lane. So Radner will run out the clock here. Tommy Hempshire with the ball and a stick gets it over to Ben Jr. The two guys who will be decorated as the Under Armour All-American underclassmen. Donato now turns to his left and that will do it. So for CUDA.com, Matt Marshall, Peter Sampson, for Dual Cam Productions and Smooth Matty Cruz, I'm Booker Corrigan saying so long and thanks to the Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival, one of the great events in high school boys and girls lacrosse. Check us out on CUDA.com and Katie Sampson Lacrosse Festival. So long from Radnor.